Ukraine has accused Russia of launching a direct military invasion across its border as heavy fighting erupts in the eastern part of the country. With more, we turn to Paul Yi at the News Center. Paul, it's only been a day since the leaders of both nations held face-to-face -face talks, but it appears the crisis in eastern Ukraine has escalated to new heights. Right. That meeting between Presidents Poroshenko and Putin in Belarus had raised hopes of a long-term ceasefire. However, as you said, the situation seems farther than ever from that goal. Kiev's government forces are now reportedly fighting on multiple fronts against separatist fighters. This says over a thousand Russian troops, according to NATO, have entered Ukrainian territory in support of the rebels. Our Yulian reports. The House of Culture in the eastern Ukraine rebel stronghold of Donetsk consumed in fire. While some fled, some stayed to examine the damage. Locals there say the fire killed one and left a few others wounded. This comes as Ukraine accused Russia of new military incursions on Wednesday, the latest development in five months of fighting between Ukrainian government forces and pro-separatist rebels. Russia has constantly denied accusations it is supplying weapons and sending soldiers to help the rebel forces. No reaction yet from Moscow on the alleged incursion. This latest escalation comes only a day after hours of talks between the two countries' presidents seem to mark a turning point in a five-month-old crisis. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and Russian President Vladimir Putin, along with EU representatives, met on Tuesday in Minsk. Yesterday's talks in Minsk were very effective. I clearly stressed that there will be no bargaining over sovereignty, territorial integrity, the independence of our country, the sovereign choice of the Ukrainian people. Following the talks, Putin also said Moscow will contribute to create a situation of trust. But hopes the war that killed over 2,200 had hit a turning point are quickly fading from Wednesday's attack. Also, less than 24 hours since the Minsk meeting, Ukraine warned Europe that Russia plans to halt gas transit to Europe by the end of the year. Russia denied the claim, saying it is making maximum efforts to fulfill its contracts with Europe. Yurian, Arirang News.